cinematic's gone wrong. Will here, welcome to the video. So as you guys just saw, that was a glimpse of my morning routine. I wake up every morning, uh, I think I do, I mean, who knows, inception. Uh, brush my teeth, get my gym clothes on, go down to the condo gym and do any form of cardio that I want to do that day. I've been really enjoying doing the rowing, so I did 20 minutes of that, came upstairs, made a coffee and then did some editing. But now we are here and I'm making my pre-workout meal to go to the gym. I'm not really that hungry, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do for pre-workout when I don't really have that much of an appetite. So right here I have a beautiful, grapefruit decided to actually eat it today so here i'm actually going to bake it so a very interesting thing so cut it in half put it into the middle of the pan and now what i'm going to do is kind of just like cut very slightly individually across because when you take it out of the oven and you don't do this it's very hard to actually eat it so just around where the skin is oh, it's squirting it's a good start to the day perfect and now what I'm gonna do is top it off with a little sprinkle of some stevia to enhance that sweetness, bring out some of the natural sweetness of the grapefruit. You don't need a whole, whole lot here, just a little bit. There you go. Perfect. And then last but not least, just a little bit of cinnamon, just a little love with the cinnamon. And I have the oven preheating at 375. I'm gonna put this in for around 20 to 25 minutes. And this is like a revolutionary way to have your grapefruit. So if you guys like grapefruit, highly recommend you guys give this a shot. All right, so simple as that. So this is going in for 20, 25 minutes. And now, of course, guys, we need our protein to build the muscle. So it's coming up on cute season. What is cute season? It's when you wanna sit with your significant other with your fuzzy socks on by the fire, drink your hot chocolate, but you wanna hit your macros, right? So I'm gonna show you guys how to have cute season while also hitting your macros. So we're gonna be making some protein hot chocolate. So I have milk and cookies by Blue Star Nutraceuticals, 10 e 10 for 10% off. I then have one cup of cashew milk in the microwave that I'm gonna heat up for around two and a half minutes and let that go. You guys, you can't spell nutrition without nut. Put that on a shirt. So we're gonna let that go, put it in a scoop of protein, top it off with some cinnamon and nutmeg. Nut milk is done. All right, so now it's time to put the hot chocolate together. So I highly recommend if you guys count calories and macros to weigh your protein powder because a scoop is not necessarily a scoop. So always weigh your protein powder. So the Blue Star scoop is actually massive, like probably the biggest scoops I've ever seen in my life. So 37 and a half grams, 150 calories. So definitely weigh protein powder. If you can take anything away from this. So that's technically a full scoop. Let's just see. Hopefully I don't kind of counter productive my point there. So it's not quite a scoop, it's 34 grams, but we want more. We wanna get every last drop of calories. Perfect. Will, how the heck are you gonna be able to mix that? Guys, Blue Star has the best mixing protein you've ever seen in your life. Take a look at this. It takes just a little bit of patience, but it's gonna get done. So cue a time lapse. All right, beautiful. Oh, that spoon is hot, man. But it tastes like a white hot chocolate. Now again, we're gonna give it a little love with some cinnamon. And last but not least, some nutmeg, which is a secret ingredient in donuts. Thank you, oven. It's hit 375, and there we go. A little taste test. It's like you have Starbucks at home, anabolic Starbucks. That is good, but hot. So just take your time and let it cool. All right guys, so while the grapefruit is finishing up, I'm gonna show you guys the updated condo right now. So as you guys can see, since the last time you guys saw it, a lot of stuff has happened. So a beautiful new couch, as you guys see, it's like a blue theme, hints of gold. We've got the beautiful statement piece of the condo now, the pineapple courtesy of my mom. So my mom actually designed the whole entire place. So I love you, mom, I know you're watching. So we gotta thank mom and Tenny for that. Got a nice marble white, uh, what is this? Ta table? Yes, this is a table. Got some blue chairs. And then over here is where I store my powders. Protein powders as well. So pretty much like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 pounds of protein powder. 
and I'm gonna keep some of my like clothing and stuff here. This is pretty much just like a storage area. Actually, do you know what? Take a look at how cool this uh, fireplace is. You can really set the mood, it changes colors and stuff. Pretty awesome. Set up some chairs outside to watch the people golf. And then over here is the bedroom where the magic happens, where the anabolism happens, where you sleep and grow. So look at that, don't have pillows. Now, you guys gotta see this. There we go. How cool is that? You really set the mood, you know? Come home from a long day, and you want to, you want to like feel like you're in Amsterdam? Boom, red, red light district. You feel like you want to go to Veld, but you can't really go this year? We go, boom, you know? And then we get over to my office. I actually added, because I'm the type of person that I need to have everything written down or in front of me or else I'll never get anything done. So I invested in this like massive whiteboard here where I kind of have like a, a filming schedule, which I'll do here and an IG schedule, which I'll do here. So I highly recommend if you're someone who has trouble being organized to write stuff down, just like in the gym, write your programming down, just write everything down. It helps so much to have it in front of you. And that's pretty much it guys. And it's, we're gonna be constantly building on the condo, constantly things will be added. All right, so the grapefruit is done. If only you guys could smell inside this condo right now, it smells like a nice fresh baked pie was made. But take a look at that. As you guys can see, like the sugar kind of caramelized on top. Now I'm just gonna plate this up. Oh my God, this is so good. And now of course we got a sprinkle on top, slash drizzle on top. A little bit of Walden Farms just to enhance the sweetness even further. I'm telling you guys, this is like one of the best ways to ever have grapefruit in your life. And there we go, that's the pre-workout meal. Okay, so calories and macros will be right here. So 250 calories, 32 protein, 24 grams of carbs, and three grams of fat for this, and the protein hot chocolate I just had. It just smells again, like apple pie, hold the crumble on top, but although adding granola, there's a thought, is just. So today at the gym, we are doing some shoulders. It is the best day. Overhead press, a bunch of other accessory stuff, get a crazy pump. It's so good, you have to try this. If you don't like grapefruit, I highly encourage you to try this, it will convert you. All right, so we're about to get into the shoulder workout, but before we do, we're gonna be using a- Neuromuscular stimulator. Neuromuscular stimulator. That sounds yeah. pretty intense. What's, so what, it? what's it do? It uh, basically uh, it excites the nerves, gets you ready, warmed up for your workout. Right. So, are you, is like if you put it on, it'll like make you feel like you'll feel the muscle more. Like my yeah, muscle you'll feel connection. the muscle better, my muscle connection, everything. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So this right here is the inactive part. This is the active part, right? The negative and positive. Okay. So I'm gonna put the uh, negative on the top. <laughs> negative on the top. Yeah. And positive on the bottom. Now this one feels a little bit strange. Okay. It's making you do a lateral raise, even. It's literally making you do lateral raises without doing anything. Oh, that's weird. Have right. you ever felt a little experimental with this thing, if you know what I'm saying? <laughs> is this a replace a warm up, would you say? I wouldn't say replaces a warm up, but yeah. like neurologically, ah. it helps a lot. Oh. Yeah, man. I feel like with this thing on, you can, you can do anything you want. I'm like a rag doll right now. <laughs> Got a little stain on the back of my shoulder. Nothing I haven't seen before. Oh, wow. As you guys can see, the muscle is thoroughly stimulated. So hopefully we can uh, get some PRs today. Starting off with the overhead press. So the pre-workout is really kicking in too. So as we learned from high school, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but we can drink it from powder, right? Uh, so starting off with the overhead press, and this is like the only compound movement where I don't have the same progression scheme as the other ones because I find just for me, probably for everyone else, but it's very hard to add weight and add reps to the overhead press. So what I did is I've, I've actually watched uh, Jeff Nippert's video where he progresses each week by sets. So not weight or reps, just pure sets, building volume with the same weight. So last week I did three sets of six with 185 pounds. Today is four sets of six, 185 pounds. And the week after that's five sets of six with the same weight. And then the plan is to add five pounds to 190 and then start back three sets of six, continue that process. So I'll see how that goes. So four sets of six, overhead press. Well, that was like 
hundred times easier than last week, so maybe that machine actually works. I kind of want to go up and wait. All right, so the first set is done. I have three more to go. Decided to stay 185 just to follow the programming. Uh, so in terms of compound movements, I usually rest three minutes per set. When I get into like the more like accessory work, like lateral raises, anywhere from a minute to a minute and a half. So that's the first exercise. I feel pumped like crazy right now. And that was only the first exercise. All right, so next up we are doing the uh, seated Smith machine press, three sets, 12 to 15 reps. So I usually like to do a secondary press after the standing press just to get a little bit more reps in. So I usually do it here on the flat bench. I don't put the pad up. I don't like to have any like sort of drive with my back. So it really just helps you focus on your shoulders. Uh, having it on the Smith machine, you don't have to really worry about stabilization muscles. Just really focus on contracting the shoulders up and down. Okay, so you're gonna notice when I do any sort of like pressing movements, I start on the chest dead soft and I always come through and poke my head through. That's what I wanna do, that's the full range of motion. You don't wanna just keep on going like this. So always make sure up and through, kind of like a J. So instead of like this, it's like this. We have four sets, 12 to 15. Last set, a double drop set of uh, machine lateral raises. So I treat my lateral raises as seriously as my overhead press. I really try to progressive overload these things. I don't look at them as secondary work for the shoulders. I really look at them as primary stuff. So if you really want to build your shoulders, really focus on the lateral head. That was pretty much it for the shoulders. Now we're gonna do a little bit of biceps, superset with some rear delts, and that's the workout. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is incline curl superset with the reverse pack deck, three sets, 12 to 15 reps. The rear delt burn. See, the rear delt one is not really about the weight. It's more so just about the contraction. So don't really get caught up in adding so much weight. Just focus more on actually controlling the reps. So last exercise of the day is the reverse preacher curl. It's actually my favorite bicep movement right now. So we already did the incline curl with the weight behind you, but now we want one with the weight in front of you. So the reason why I do it reverse instead of the regular is because I find it's harder to do it from a dead stop. Your arms are like completely dead hanged from here. And I feel like you just use more of your bicep that way. So we're gonna do three sets again, 12 to 15 reps. All right guys, well that was the workout. Crazy pump with that uh, neuromuscular stimu- neuro musc yeah, your neuro, that's hard to say, neuromuscular stimulator. So now we're gonna go do some errands, gotta pick up some groceries for dinner tonight, have a sick recipe planned, and then I wanna go pick something up that I've been meaning to get for a while. It's a pretty random purchase to be honest. Very quickly, if you guys are grocery shopping and you're using a cart, see the Apple Watch? You cannot put it on here, it won't track your steps. You gotta push with one hand. You gotta get those steps in. Now, I used to get my eggs at Costco, but my dad bought these the other day. And these are $5.99 for 12, which is insanely expensive, but it's so worth it. The color is like golden brown. They just taste amazing. So, highly recommend the uh, Whole Foods eggs. They're just unreal. They have the nutrition on everything in the States, but in Canada, they don't do nutrition anywhere. You gotta be good, man. You gotta be good. So you guys 
know I am Ollie's pet, which means I need my own pet. So for some reason, I've been really wanting a fish for the condo. So we're actually gonna go into PetSmart right now and I'm actually gonna get two fish because I feel like one fish would just be pretty lonely. So we're gonna get a tank, get everything and welcome my new little foster children. We're getting all this stuff at the tank right now. We got a five gallon tank. We got all this like navy stuff to kind of like accent the condo. Then we got this thing, it's like fish tacos. But now that I think about it, it's a little bit scary because it's like, they're gonna be swimming by this and it's like, this is like, they would cook them. Kind of weird, but this is a, a unicorn donut. So with that, then we need like a bigger piece. Does that have a lot of protein? I gave him my goldfish like this. Okay, it's okay. pretty good macros. Yeah. Okay, all right. So we got all the goodies, but unfortunately we couldn't take the kids home because they said you have to get the water to like filter and actually to set up the tank before I can actually put the fish in. So apparently I can come tomorrow and pick them up. So they're actually holding those two fish for me, but got the sick tank, got a bunch of like cool ass things. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty sick house for the two guys. Okay, so just got all my stuff together for dinner and I just want to show you guys what I had for a snack very quickly. It's really good. So my mom found these things from Costco, these egg wraps made with cauliflower, 30 calories per wrap. They're actually unreal. So per wrap, 30 calories, 1.5 fat, zero carbs and three grams of protein. So I just put a little bit of ham in it with some mustard, very low calorie snack to hold me over until dinner. So let's go home and cook. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, that took a lot longer than it needed to be, but I mean, if I was a fish, I'd want to live in there, wouldn't you? So time to make some dinner. So I'm gonna be making a chicken Parmesan bake with quinoa because pasta is all fun and games until you have to wait. Like I'll look at a box of pasta with the amount that I want. Then I'll look at the like nutrition facts. And I'm like, I guess I'm an Italian family of eight. So I choose not to have it. So we're going with some quinoa. So very, very simple casserole dish takes pretty much no time to put together. It just takes a little bit of time in the oven. So here I have the tomato sauce I'm gonna be using. So I usually like to use just strained crushed tomatoes, very low in calories, 30 calories per serving. Whereas like typical tomato sauce, you're looking at like 50, 60, 70. So this is a great way to save up on calories and you can just kind of dress it up yourself. So in here, I put one and a half cups of the strained tomatoes. I added salt, pepper, uh, some oregano, some basil. Uh, I added some garlic powder and then a little bit of my favorite seasoning, the Parmesan herb seasoning. So I'm just gonna stir this all up and that's just gonna go right on top of the quinoa here. So the tomato sauce is actually gonna cook the quinoa in the oven. So we're gonna leave the quinoa raw right now. And then just to add some more fluids, we're gonna go in with a half a cup of some low sodium chicken stock. Again, this is just gonna help cook the quinoa and add just a little bit of flavor. Feel free to use water as well or vegetable broth, whatever floats your boat. So there you go. And now what we're gonna do is add our veggies. So you can use pretty much whatever vegetables that you want. So I have 100 grams of mushrooms, 100 grams of onions, and about 75 grams of green peppers right into the bowl, just like that. And now we're gonna give everything just a little mix, get everything kind of coated. All right, there we go. So that is the base of the casserole, very simple. That was pretty quick. So now it's time to do the chicken. So here I have two five ounce chicken breasts and I'm gonna kind of make it kind of like chicken Parmesan style while saving on the calories, just a little bit. So we still want the flavor. So there's a little bit of cheese in it, but it's still very low in calories. So all I'm gonna do is take the chicken breast and then I dunk it into some egg whites instead of just the whole egg, just to save on some calories. And then here in this bowl, I have some flour. I have like 10 grams of this Parmesan, like Parmesan cheese, which is only like 40 calories. It adds a lot of flavor. So don't, don't skip it on this. Again, added some of this salt, pepper, garlic powder, and that's pretty much it in here. And then once it's dipped in the egg whites, we're gonna go into here, give it a generous coating. And this is just gonna go right on top of the casserole, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same for the second one. And that is it, guys. All right, so casserole is ready to go. You can put it in just like that if you want to, or you can add some more cheese. And you know me, I wanna add some cheese. So I'm gonna add around 30 grams. Gotta get my gram scale here. We don't wanna kinda of just free, free sprinkle. That's just living on the edge too much. I get anxiety thinking about that. So we're just gonna tear it up. Okay, so 30 grams is 120 calories. Check how much 30 grams is with this stuff. It's 
snow in here. It's snow in here in the tiny condo. That's only 12 grams. That's literally half of a serving. That's 60 calories. I, I want to go all out, man. There we go. 20 grams, that's, that's enough for me. Gonna add again this, the more the better. Generous little spank on top. And there we go. Now we're gonna cover it up. Oven 375 for around 40 minutes covered, then uncover it, bake for another 20 minutes. Okay, so much time has elapsed. It smells incredible in here, and it looks like it's done. So, beautiful crust with the Parmesan on the chicken. Quinoa looks perfectly cooked. I am excited to eat this. So the whole entire thing is at 1,010 calories. This is easily enough for two people or just one of me. And the macros are pretty great too. So it's 110 grams of protein, 93 grams of carbs, and 22 grams of fat. The whole recipe will be in the description. So let's plate this bad boy up. There we go. See how the, like the Parmesan cheese kind of like crusted on the top and as well as the flour. Perfect. And that's my dinner. So I'll probably have this plate first and I'll probably chill for a bit and then have the second half a little bit later at night. And that's kind of how I space out my meal so I don't eat it all at one go. So I don't really go to bed hungry. I'm telling you right now, this is incredible. Is it as good as pasta? No, but I mean, if this was pasta, you're not looking at a thousand calories, you're looking at around like 4,000 calories, specifically with the amount that I would want. So highly recommend giving this one a shot. Again, it'll be in the description. You need to add the Parmesan cheese. It adds this saltiness that I desire and I love. So yeah, all that, like take a look at that. Absolutely a no brainer. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the night here. I've just been reading some of like the, the letters you guys sent me and it's actually like the most amazing thing. I feel so honored that you guys write this stuff, take the time to actually send me this stuff. I feel like I don't even deserve it, but like it's, it's actually amazing. Thank you guys so much. I love this, like from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys. Like, a guy named Joseph here, 13 years old, lost 20 pounds. He even sent me some coffee. Absolutely incredible story he just sent me. Really appreciate that, Joseph. Then uh, a girl, Shannon, actually sent me this pretty cool uh, donut mask with a nice little note. Um, yeah, a ton of you guys sent me a bunch of stuff and it means the absolute world to me. So thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are the absolute best. I appreciate every single one of you guys. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next one.